and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the most useful players to take from any of these free Nat player packs. Now, I obviously did a top 10 ranking, but the top 10 rankings are more so interchangeably just the 10 guys that I thought you should, you would, we should even care about in this promo. This one's going to be specifically in depth going over about five to seven players that I think you need from these packs. So like the top 10 were just my overall rankings of the top 10 players that this promo offered that I think are even useful. This one's going to be like, cause with this fantasy pack, obviously it's pretty confirmed at this point that we're getting to. So we got one from the solo challenges that I don't think has been released yet, obviously, cause we have to get more stars for the solos. I don't know if we'll get those today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, so on and so forth. It all depends when they give us the final stars. But what I do know is, is that it's pretty confirmed that we are getting a house rules one. So we get two free. So you really don't want to mess these up, right? Because the thing with these are mud heroes in my opinion only gave us a few players that are really really useful and you really need in this on your team and they're gonna be going for a lot of coins so the best thing about these two packs are you can get those players two at least out of the five to seven that i'm gonna name and then you could save the rest of your coins for most fear see if they didn't give us this free pack we would have been kind of screwed because then we'd have to spend a million coins just to get a few of the players we wanted and then go into most fear broke so my personal advice for you guys don't buy any mud hero cards or coins Get your two free that you really want and then wait because they're only 91 overalls and 90 overalls see if they were 92 93s i'd say go all in those cards are worthwhile but 90 91s are just pretty much adding to our team at places we don't have already but it doesn't improve our team if you guys understand what i'm saying obviously for guys who are no money spent don't have teams like my team let's just say or other youtuber teams i understand why this promo is very useful but what i'm saying here is that mo most feared is going to take cards to the next level so mud heroes gives us cards like this like in line with the most of the cards you can buy already off the auction block nothing too special most fear is going to give us cards that are above the median of the auction and what you can already get so that is why i'll be saving my coins for that i personally think you take your two free and you go home and you're satisfied with it so i'm gonna be ranking about five to seven players that i think you absolutely need from this promo because you guys don't want to mess up you guys want to get the two best players you could possibly get from this promo that are going to be impactful long term and short term you don't want to just get a guy that's short term like mitchell schwartz right 91 overall right tackle the stats are okay I wouldn't recommend a guy like that as one of your picks because, yeah, he's 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 going to be good right now, but in the next month when they drop more uh, tackles, he's going to be surely faded out. I recommend going with either depth positions or cards that are going to be insane for the time being and even long term. So I'm going to head over to Mudhead to show you guys all the cards because not all of them obviously are even released yet, but you can actually take, I believe, any of the 32 cards from these packs. So although they're not released yet, you can still get them. So that's why I'm going to be doing it on Mudhead to show you guys all that. And real quick, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. We are at 9.5k subscribers. We are so close to 10k, boys. Let's make it happen by the end of this week. Thank you guys for all the support. Make sure to comment down below who you're going to be taking out of this fantasy pack. And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 250 likes. Let's head over to Mudhead for our in-depth analysis and all the cards. All right, guys. So coming in at number seven is Kyle Fuller. Or should I say six? I ended up doing this out of six. Now, guys, Kyle Fuller by no means do I think is going to be my pick or should it be yours. But here's the thing. I'm doing this out of six. So he will be the sixth guy in my opinion. Now, would I recommend him over any of these other guys? No, I will not. But the thing with Kyle Fuller... The best thing about Kyle Fuller is that he's going to be one of the most athletic corners in the game. And a lot of people might not have that athletic corner and they might need that on their team, which I wouldn't recommend him over another cornerback on this list. But Kyle Fuller still has very good stats. I would not recommend him over the other guys. But like I said, he is my sixth best player, I think, out of the Mud Heroes promo. He's got 89 speed. Let's see, 89 Excel, 87 agility, 88 jumping, 86 awareness, 86 play rec, 85 man, 93 zone, 84 press. Now, if you have a Bears theme team or you're a Kyle Fuller fan, I'd understand why you went with him. He's got good hit power, good uh, run, good run defense as a cornerback. Because although those stats don't look great for a cornerback, they are very great. He also has some decent abilities. He's got strips ball, high motor, and that's really kind of what you care about here. Discipline, plays ball in the air, aggressive, very athletic cornerback. What like I said, what I recommend him over the other guys not likely now on to the next one we got greg olsen now greg olsen is going to be the best head end in the game i think even over the uh, the mutt 10 rob gronkowski so that is why he's on this list just being the best head end in the game he's got to make it honest he's got 82 speed 84 excel 80 agility so he's got 
middle tier athleticism at this point in Madden. The only guy fast is really Shannon Sharp and Gronk at like an 83. But for his price point or for a free card, if that's the route you go with him, the 82 speed is just enough athleticism for the tight end to do what he needs to do. 86 jumping, 96 awareness. Now where he's really good is he's got 93 catching, 93 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 86 short route running, and 89 release, 83 medium route running. And it, obviously after the ball, he's not the best, but he has decent run blocking, decent pass blocking. And the beauty of this card is most people love that Zach Ertz card, and they didn't really, and a lot of people, the only knock on him was his speed. So Greg Olson, you pretty much get two and one. You get those that catching of a top tier kind of Jason Witten type Zach Ertz catching tight end. But you also get some athleticism with him, which is really a game breaker when you when you know when you play Madden properly, trust me, and you play against competitive guys, tight ends get open a lot. He's kind of like my saving grace and we can leave the tight end position because they always get open because they're always on middle linebackers or they're uncovered in a blitz. So that is why I like to have a little bit of athleticism on my cornerback, and Greg Olson's also a surefire catch. Now, next on this list, we got David DeCastro, guys. The reason he's on this list is because he's a threshold guy all around. So you can literally put him in at right guard and be good with him for about a month or two. No problem. I think he's a long-term type kind of guy. So forget the speed. Obviously, that's a little bit low. He's got 90 strength. So he's above 90. What I care about the 90s, right? He's got above 90 strength, 87 awareness. 90 run blocking, 90 run block power, power 89 run block footwork. So if you power this guy up or chem him up, you'll have 90 run blocking all around the board. Then he's got 90 pass blocking, 90 pass block power, 89 pass blocking footwork. Again, chemmed up or powered up, you will have all 90s across the board. Then he's got an 88 lead block and an 86 impact blocking. If you properly chem this guy up and you power him up, he will have almost, he probably will have all 90 blocking stats or above, which is pretty awesome considering no other lineman in the game really gets to that threshold at his price point. And again, if you take him for free, even more the reason to take him. I personally already did the collection for DeCastro and I'm keeping him. Although would I pick him as my free guy? I don't know if I would, but again, if you guys have other guys at other positions, this could be one of the options. Like if you already have some of the other positions I'm going to name, this will not be a bad choice. Now, as far as abilities go, he has high motor and penalty normal, so nothing too special there. Next on the list, we got Jamal Adams. The only reason Jamal Adams isn't even higher, if he could be, is because of the position he plays. He is a strong safety, which does kind of hurt him because most people, or should I say every person, has Pat Tillman at some, at some point no matter what the overall is, whether he's an 80 or a 96, no matter where you have him. And that eventually that Pat Tillman will be a very high overall. So that is why Jamal Adams is not a long-term option, although his card stats are insane. He's got 87 speed, 86 excel, 83 agility, 92 awareness, 92 play rec. So, so far the athleticism is really good for a strong safety and the awareness and play rec. Then he's got 86 man, 87 zone coverage. Now you might be thinking, right, for a safety that's kind of low, but when you really look at it, he's also got a 94 hit power, a 90 pursuit, and an 82 tackle. So what this card tells me here is that most cards with a 94 hit power above are not that fast, and they're usually not good coverage guys. Jamal Adams is. He's the perfect hybrid safety besides Pat Tillman that's not a mutt master. That has speed, athleticism, coverage, and hit power. If you power this card up and you chem him up, he will have the threshold for zone, the threshold for man. If you have John Madden with him too, he will have a damn near high, over, like almost one of the highest hit powers in the game besides Landon Collins. He'll have the pursuit of an above 90, which is really good because that means he can catch almost anyone if he takes the right angle with F plus athleticism and he is six foot one. This car can pretty much do it all. Again, as far as these go, he's got big hitter, he's got strips ball, penalty normal, and he's got a high motor. Next on the list is Saquon Barkley. I really have to stop myself from putting him at number one because I'm a Giants fan. I feel like that'd be biased. He's five foot 11, 233 pounds of pure muscle. Let's see, he's got 89 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, and 90 speed. So again, uh, powered up, this guy will have above 90 speed, a 91 excel, 94 agility, almost 80 strength at running back, and a 91 jumping. So he's one of the most athletic, well-rounded running backs so far. He's got speed, and excel is important. Remember, if they have a 90 speed, but like an 86 excel, 87 excel, the excel is one of the most important factors for running backs. So you have to understand that speed is more about breakaway. Acceleration is more about that initial gain. So when I was using Marcus Allen versus Dalvin Cook, Dalvin Cook's acceleration was very noticeable compared to other running backs. Because the accelerations when you first get the mesh with the quarterback and you take the handoff, how quickly he can get to that line of scrimmage. So a high excel such as him powered up will have like a 91. He'll be able to get from the backfield to the line really quickly, which is a big difference because the difference of like half a second of acceleration versus another half a second could be a block shed that stops the whole running play. It could go from an 80 yard run to a guy getting the block shed off in time because excel is too slow and getting you right down the backfield. Plus that also helps all after jukes, building speed back up. And now to get to the other stats, on top of all that athleticism, he's got an 80 trucking, right? I don't really truck too much in this game. I don't really find a use for it too much considering I haven't had a back with a bruise or anything. 
but the 80 trucking is good, which means he's part power back. 86 elusiveness, which is really good. 77 ball carry vision. I don't know how much that really affects your running back when you're using him. I couldn't really tell you that. 82 stiff arm. So, so far, he's got decent power stats. Now he's got 89 spin move, 90 juke move, 92 carrying, which is huge in a year where there's a lot of fumbles, and 93 break tackle. Now, if you guys don't already know, break tackle is one of the most overpowered stats in the game, considering I've noticed a difference between break tackles. When you have a high break tackle, that's when you get those glitching, like Barry Sanders animations, where you bounce off guys like pinball, pinballs, where you break foul, um, tackles in the backfield. Now, he does have um, fight for extra yards, yes, and he does have high motor and brace against medium hitters so and he can also catch if you guys didn't know that he has pretty decent catching stats he has above 70 route running for short he's got above 70 catching and then 66 catching traffic which means he's a he's pretty much the hybrid a hybrid better christian mccaffrey so far in this game guys this card's gonna be a beast if you chem this guy properly and you power him up this card's gonna be unstoppable for the time being and i really do want the saquon bark as soon as possible next on the list first and foremost we got jalen ramsey six foot one 208 pounds this car can do it all. So like I always say, the reason in the beginning of the game, Ramsey cards are overpowered. What's the issue with Ramsey cards in the beginning of the year though? He always has crazy coverage stats and physicality stats, but he never has good athleticism. So what does that mean typically in Madden? His second card gets the athleticism. And that is when this card becomes overpowered. Like last year, Jalen Ramsey was pretty good and they had his team diamond card and that card was insane. So this year again, 88 speed, 88 excel, 85 agility, 89 jumping, 87 awareness, 87 play ref. Those athleticism stats alone can hang with almost any receiver in the game. Now, the big difference is he's six foot one, so he's on the taller side with 89 jumping. So even if the guy can burn him a little bit, his jumping and height can more than make up for it. He's kind of like the ability, what Sherman always has for him, going for him, is that even though he's slow, he's got height and jumping. Now, Jalen Ramsey's not as tall, but he can jump just as high and he's faster, which makes up for it. Now that play rec 87, now his cover stats are what's insane here. He's got 92 man, 90 zone, 92 press. Chemmed up properly and powered up, he'll have like 95 man, 93 zone, 95 press. He's gonna be upper echelon coverage with plus athleticism with a 75 hit power, 43 block shit, 69 pursuit, which I wish was a little higher, and 65 catching. The only thing this card can't do, if even that, is his play rec's a little bit low, but if you power him up and chem him up, he will get that right back. And again, the only, again, it may be pick six is he's not like Champ Bailey or Deion Sanders, but he's still pretty insane. So guys, these are pretty much it. So in my order, it's Kyle Fuller, Greg Olson, David DeCastro, Jamal Adams, Saquon Barkley, and Jalen Ramsey. In my opinion, the top two that you need to get from this is Saquon and Jalen. The only reason you wouldn't take these two guys is if you already have like a Nat Gale Sayers or Bo or something that you don't want to get rid of, or you already have all three of your cornerback slots locked up. Other than that, if you have the room, which I do indeed have the room, I'd recommend powering up and keeping Saquon and Jalen Ramsey. Let's head back over to the Madden screen. So guys, that was my in-depth analysis on the top six players you want to be taking from the Mutt Heroes promo. Like I said, personally, I think if you have the room on your team, I'll show you guys what I mean. If you have the room, you want to be going with him. So like for me, I do have Marcus Allen. I do think Saquon Barkley is a significant upgrade. To give you guys a little idea of what I'm talking about, if you compare Saquon to Marcus Allen, he beats him in every stat besides speed and trucking. But when you power... So Matt, he already beats him in all these stats besides speed and trucking. The second you give him his full card and you power him up with chems, he's going to have well more, a good amount more speed good amount of more acceleration, way more agility, way more carrying, better catching, way more elusiveness. Uh, he's going to have close to, if not similar, trucking and way, way more break tackle with better catching stats. This card's going to be overpowered. Again, I have the room. I feel like he is definitely an upgrade over Mark Sound. And then for, again, for Jalen Ramsey, I do have Nat Gilmore, but cornerback is a three-player position. So I'll be more than happy to put Ramsey back at the cornerback one, slot Willie Brown back in the slot the cornerback three. And again, if you guys have all Nat cornerbacks, you can go other routes than Ramsey, such as DeCastro or Jamal Adams. I personally don't know if I'd ever take Jamal Adams, although he has to be up there because of his ability. I do have Pat Tillman there, but Jamal Adams could be a great box safety also if you want to put him in the box and then not rock him at safety. But that's all up to you guys. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Let's get to 10K as quickly as possible. Let's hit that first big milestone. Comment down below who you personally are going to be taking. I know a lot of you guys have different team builds and different fan favorites of who. So make sure to comment that all down below. If you haven't already, drop a big like on the video, boys. Let's get this video to 250 likes. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay tuned for all the rest of the videos coming out today. And I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.